This is what hunting is about. Going out there, getting your own quarry, bringing it home and providing food for the family. He's done. Some people believe food comes from the supermarket. I'm not one of them. viewers we are out here in between Fort Beaufort, Grahamstown and Adelaide <coughs> out here to shoot a kudu today it's going to be my first kudu bull hopefully if we can get one um, I've seen a couple of kudu on the way in and a couple of war dogs and there's a whole bunch of things running around here so we're going to see what we can do back to the back here with Luke um, Luke Gankwood, his dad is Uncle Andrew and my uncle Uncle Trevor and Uncle Andrew go back here as they've hunted together for a long long time and we've come out to shoot a kudu here with Luke and his dad excuse the bouncy camera but chaps this isn't lucky town we out in the country here, it's like hunters with beaters. We used to come sit here, another person on the other side there, another one on the, up, on the top, and then we used to put the boys in from that side and we used to shoot them down below. So. I'm not even seeing you guys. I missed the hand. Okay. I said I hit the hand. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Stand two from that side, one just from this side, and we put our shoulders together. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to take five, just to enjoy the view. Yeah, I know you're doing it. This is the kudu backstrap or rustling as you would call it. But a very simple recipe, it just involves some Maggie's chili and garlic sauce, canola olive oil and a clove of garlic. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to cut up a clove of garlic, get it browning with some olive oil and we'll show you from there. We've got our garlic in that has now browned up and in go the steaks. When it's done, We've got our Maggie sauce here, put a blob on each one, on each side, you let it simmer, 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 turn it over, do the same on the other side, turn it back and you've done quickly. It shouldn't take too long in your know, they're tender, thin fillets that you've cut here, so it shouldn't take too long, let it brown itself up completely, we'll add the chili sauce Now cooked in the oil, as you can see there, put it on the other side, now on each steak, we're going to put some of this Maggie's chili and water sauce. There we go. Steaks are done. Now this recipe you can have if you feel like eating kudu. If you want the luxury of a kudu steak, 
but you're in a hurry. This has taken me five minutes to cook and we've just got back from a hunt now. Look at that, perfection. This is the joys of hunting and this is the reason why I hunt. I don't go out there just to kill an animal and to be bloodthirsty. I go out there to harvest my own food as a primal provider and that's what this channel is about. It's about um, being in one with nature, uh, being conservative in what you harvest. And this is the reason why we do what we do, to raise awareness about it. Just guys, when you go out there, don't take more than what you can consume. Some garlic cheese rolls from the local spa. Just buttered them. And now, we'll take our steak strips. And there you have it. A chili and garlic kudu burger for supper. Perfectly tender. Now guys, don't forget, merchandise is available on the online store. You can find it up on catchcook.com. Don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. I want to get this good in my system.